We are interrupting your network coverage for the scheduled explosion of the old I-74 bridge. We do have a live... We're showing you a live look as it's about to happen. We're going to listen in. And you may remember this bridge has been up since the 30s. That's when the Ralph Majeski style bridge you see here was oh, erected. I just saw a little. We saw something. I saw something in the water. I think that's one of those uh, warning. To get the fish away. Yeah, blast to scare the fish. So we're within minutes. All right. Watch so this. our producers in the newsroom telling us that the warning siren just went off. That's what we we're just hearing. Interesting piece about this bridge is that this was kind of the bookends of Ralph Majeski's career, the, de the designer of this. He built the government bridge at the beginning of his career, and years later, this was one of his last bridges. So crazy. I feel like the progression of the new I-74 bridge and the, the demolition and, and taking part the old one really happened in the past four years. And just when I Yes. Watch this entire progress, and now it's finally coming to an end. Yes. And if you're new to the Quad City area, you may not realize that driving over this bridge was really kind of stressful from time to time. Um, it was very narrow lanes, and now we have this beautiful billion dollar bridge sitting next to it. But after today, the skyline changes forever. You're not going to see the, the suspension bridge anymore. It's just going to be the basket handles. <laughs> Isn't there a part? Okay, wait. So those little parts in the water. Yes from the old span, mm -hmm. is that what's staying in the water? I do know that some of the piers are staying because of the federally protected muscle yes. underneath. So yeah. um, I guess you'll always see something. Yeah. <laughs> you'll see the evidence. <laughs> yeah, it was there once. Oh, that's a cool shot. Oh, I like that a lot. Yes. Oh my gosh. Our Charles Hart's not far away from there, and he said that there's just crowds of people, of course, along the riverfront in areas that are not restricted. I'm sure people, more people are showing out for this, because it's, it's, it's the finale. Yes, The this grand is it. finale. If you miss it now, you'll, <laughs> you'll only find it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Wow. wow. <laughs> Everyone's clapping. Everyone loves an explosion. Every, I know. I love that. No matter big or small. Yes. Oh, wow. wow. There it goes. Wow. <laughs> Speechless, honestly. Yeah, there's, I mean, what can you say? Love that. It looks crazy different already. We will continue to follow the bridge, of course, as it's um, getting picked up out of the water. We know that it's being recycled yes. here locally. And you may see this bridge continue to live on in other ways. It will get melted down and used in, in other formats. Pieces of it have been donated already to yes. areas. So Putnam Museum, if you want to see a portion of it. Rock Island County Historical Society has oh a portion gosh. of it as well. We are going to take you right back to network coverage, and we'll see you back here for Good Morning Quad City Sunday at 8 a.m.